kings, queens, nerds, and geeks, proud of your care, and welcome back to the test. This is part two of, of the games. Uh, right now, I have found some time to finally fucking record this game. Because time is not on my side these days. But, we're gonna get right into this, because I do not have time for much of an intro. I just realized I'm not clicked on the game. Also, my recording program's kind of updated, so little things are a little different for me, so I have to get used to it. Before experiencing the test, Hypothesis Rising, it is highly recommended that you play this prequel, The Test, first, before adventuring this experience. You will stand to gain a lot more from the experience you played The Test first, and the examination will... Uh, hold on, I also forgot. Um, I also have a uh, file saved on my uh, <laughs> Google Drive. What is it? Uh, Docs. Let's see. Doc. A Google Box saved of the previous word that we used. Oh yeah, it's blessing. That's right. And the test first and examination makes more sense. It carries from where your last examination left off. I would like to urge you to play the test before going forward and follow the instructions for that brief. I will certainly get a bigger benefit overall by taking the test in the, in the order that you were meant to be taken in. Would you like to close this game now so you have the opportunity to play the test first? I, I have already played that game. Wonderful news. We can continue. Hello, and welcome to my office. It is truly a pleasure to see you here today. Who are you supposed to be? Please excuse the mess. I haven't had a chance to clean up yet. Yeah, don't bother, man. The blood stains just add character and all that shit, man. Don't, don't worry about it. Now, I don't want to take up too much of your time with blibber blabber and non sensual speaking. I just get straight to the point. Sometimes we have to ask ourselves life's tough questions. There's one question in particular I'd like for you to ask yourself Are you happy? And when I say happy, I don't mean content. Being content is great, but not be, it's not the same as being happy. I want you. I want you to inspire. I want to inspire you to be the best that you can be. I want to inspire you to be the happiest version of yourself. I want to see you grow inside and out. Now, how do we accomplish this, you might be asking. Good question, allow me to explain. I want to ask you a series of questions, and you're going to answer them with 100% entire honesty. And when I say 100% entire honesty, I mean 100% entire honesty. Think about it. You do, you do want to be happy, don't you? You wouldn't want to do something so bold as to tempt fate by lying, would you? Just remember, if you lie, the only person you're lying to is yourself, and the only person who will suffer from this is you. And believe me, you will suffer. Not to mention the fact that whether you tell me that you could not, I'll know. But the ma the another story. Let's be moving, shall we? we wasted enough time explaining what we're going to be doing. Just remember, we all want to be good people. We all want to give the answers that feel and lend the most desirable human traits within ourselves. But sometimes good people do bad things, and sometimes we don't always have desirable traits as humans. I cannot express enough just how important it is to truly be honest while answering these questions, no matter how uncomfortable the truth may make you. Now it's time to get to the real meat of the experience. It's time for you to get the advice that you deserve. As you read questions and scenarios during the process, I want you to create your own circumstance that, and build your own br uh, bridges to arrive to the answer that best suits your psyche. I know I'm kind of reading like a fucking robot, I'm sorry. If you ever experience a scenario being asked to you, then simply imagine that you have to try to assume how you might feel in that situation. I'd like you to invite your poor or glass. I can invite you to pour a glass of water, sit back and relax, and unfold the fate of the secret overcoming. 
the next hurdle in, in your life. We're going to start with some basic, easy questions. Okay, before I miss, if you answer these questions twice, your advice may change. It's not about uh, uh, answering the questions, it's about many different variables. Any different factors are here are at play here, including the amount of time taken to answer proposed questions. With that being said, it is fair or more important to actually take your time and think about the, how honest of an answer you're giving before you give it. Whatever you do, don't rush the process. It's the time is on your best is your best friend here. You'll see what I mean soon enough. And here we go. Now, how uncom do you feel uncomfortable right now? No, I do not. Are you nervous? Not at all. Do you feel cold? A little bit, yeah. Do you feel sad? Not particularly at the moment. Have you ever hurt someone because you were hurting, even though they didn't deserve it? Yes, I have. I'm going to take this out because it's the sound is bugging me. Um, do you crave acceptance by others? Mm. Nah, I really don't. I really don't care about acceptance. Have you ever lost a loved one? Yes, I have. Do you know what heartbreak feels like? Yes, I do. Do you believe in demons? No, I don't believe in demons. Hmm. Do you believe in curses? No. Would you consider yourself spiritual? No. Are you afraid of dying alone? Not really. I never, I'm not really afraid of dying. I'm afraid of painful death. If there is an un, undeniable proof that a ghost was haunting you, would you continue to live in the house? Yeah, I have a mortgage to pay. Have you ever seen an object mysteriously moved without uh, touching it? Yeah, I, mean, I think everyone has at this point. Do you believe that it's possible for a game to summon supernatural forces into the lo into your life without you knowing it? No. Would you like to make more friends? Not really. I am a terrible friend. More friends is just is just more people to disappoint. Would you consider yourself a good friend? No, no. <laughs> I just said I'm a terrible friend. Do you feel lonely? No, I don't think I do. Talk to me. It just said talk to me. What the fuck was that? Do you make friends easily? Yeah, technically. You tend to avoid drama where possible. Now, I know that I used to search for the drama. I used to. Now, I don't do that anymore. I don't do that anymore. So, the answer is no. Have you ever had a near-death experience? Multiple. Do you like horror games? Or horror movies, not games. Uh, I used to. I'm not so much of a fan of horror movies anymore. They kind of seem... Basic. Like, they don't scare me like they used to. This is all very interesting. Have you played the test? Yes. Like, that's the spirit. Have you played the horoscope? Mm, no. Give it a whack. Totally not biased or anything. <laughs> do you watch porn? All the fucking time. Oh yeah. Uh, do you? Would you consider yourself to be a hard worker? Yes. Yes. Do you have a low opinion of yourself? Yeah. Would you consider yourself to be a confident person? No. No. Would you help an old lady cross the street if you were running late for appointment? Fuck the old lady. Would you kill all of your neighbor's pets just to save your own? Uh, not really, no. Would you, uh, have you ever tried to smother yourself to see if you would actually suffocate yourself? Not really. I sleep with a pillow on my face all the fucking time, so. Have you ever been caught dancing while you thought someone was watching? And when you thought no one was watching? Yes! Have you ever tried to roll your eyes so far or just to see if you would get stuck? Mm, I don't think I've ever even thought of doing that. 
Have you ever played a practical joke you regret on doing someone? Not really. I don't even play practical jokes. Hey, have you? Are you streaming live right now? No. Are you recording the gameplay session right now? Yes. If I told you that I was watching you play this game right now, would you believe me? Probably not. If you left a comment for me at any point in time, I've read your words, does this bother you? No. Would you have, if you left a comment for me, does it make you feel positive that I paid attention to what you've taken the time to write? Uh, no. Do you understand that no matter what, I appreciate you? Not really. I really do. Are you afraid of snakes? No, I'm not. I actually love snakes. Do you believe in magic? No. I have no answers. Have you cried in the last month? Yes. Do you have a hero? No. Do you typically learn from your mistakes? Yeah, I pretty much do, yeah. I think that's going through these questions pretty fast, aren't I? Do you enjoy outdoor activities? Sometimes I do, but yeah. Would you consider yourself to be lazy? Yes, running at home. Do you sometimes find it difficult to stay motivated? Mm, yeah. Do you put the needs of others before yourself? Most definitely. My daughter and my wife. Would your, fa your family and friends describe you as kind? No, I'm an asshole. <laughs> Have you ever cheated in a relationship? Hell no, I've been cheated on. Have you ever been cheated on in a relationship? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be judgmental? I'm unbiased most of the time. And, um... I tend to look at things in more than one point of view, so I don't think I'm judgmental. I see. Are you a hero to someone else? I hope, I hope the fuck not, but probably my daughter probably sees me as a hero. I don't know that, and uh, I'm, I'm assuming that is the case. I'm just going to assume. Do you love animals? Oh, I do love animals. I want a farm. Have you ever found a family member on Tinder and wanted to hit, hit, hit them with a super light just to make the shit get real awkward? <laughs> no. Uh, but that sounds funny. Yeah, uh, me neither. <coughs> you enjoy drinking alcohol? I do not. Not anymore. Are you intoxicated right now? No. Well, that makes one of us. Oh my god. Do you like the phrase sneaky snake? Yeah, I guess I do. It sounds like you. Are, you, are these questions a bit strange to you? Yeah, actually. Do you have a vivid imagination? I created personalities that I speak to in my head, so yes. Do you feel uncomfortable in large social settings? Yes. Do you consider yourself to be antisocial? Yes. Do you hold a grudge for long periods of time? Fuck yes. Have you urinated in public? Yeah, I have. Do you like pineapple on your pizza? Uh, I don't hate it, but I guess yes. I know you liked it. I knew I liked you. <laughs> Would you consider yourself to be selfish? Yes. Do you think you've got a big ego? Probably not. I really don't. Oh, would you consider yourself kinky? Uh, I have a trunk in this room that says yes. <laughs> have you ever masturbated into a... What the fuck kind of question is that? No! Well then, you can't be that kinky. <laughs> Would you consider yourself to be religious? No. <laughs> Would you consider yourself to be temperamental? Uh, temperamental. I have to Google that real quick. I gotta Google that real quick. I don't know what temperamental means. I'm assuming if I take a long time, they're going to question. And uh, you don't know what temperamental means, I bet. <laughs> temperamental. Uh, I gotta Google that. Tem 
Let's see here, the name liable and unreasonable changes of mode. Personal walk. Yeah, I'm pretty temperamental. I really get stuck in one motion, but I can change, get angry really fast. Okay. If you had to kill someone to save your life, but you knew they didn't deserve it, would you do it? Probably. Interesting. Would you sacrifice your own life to, to a complete stranger? I'll be honest, I'd probably be more in shock before it actually would happen. Even more interesting. Have you, have you ever been inside of a burning building? No, I don't think I have, no. Have you ever been to a funeral? Yes. If you could attend your own funeral before you died, would you take the opportunity to do so? I guess I would. It'd be kind of. I want to see what my own funeral would be like. If you could see me into the future, but you were told that you it would only reveal the absolute worst of what's in store for you, would you still look? Yeah, better than no. If you had the power to stop time, would you use it to do something you know you shouldn't do? Probably, honestly. If you had the power to remove one person from Earth, ever to return, never to return again, probably. At least once. If I told you that I, I understand you better than you understand yourself, would you believe me? Probably not. If someone threatened to kill you, would your first response to be react in violence? Honestly, I just look at them and say, do it. If a stranger stole money from you to support their drug addiction, would you forgive them and apologize? No. No! If a family member said something nasty about you behind your back, would you confront them about a drug lord? Probably. If you had to eat raw squirrel brains for three days to stay alive, would you? Fuck yeah, I would. If you woke up tomorrow and none of your family members who were, who you were, knew who, rem remembered who you were, would you choose to leave? <coughs> Probably. I only have a bad, I'm already trying to start my own life away from my family anyway. If a homeless man was clearly sick, freezing, and utterly miserable in the rain, would you be willing to give him your clothes and shoot him to walk naked? Probably, yeah. If someone accidentally hit you with the car, but you suffered no injuries whatsoever, would you still be upset with him? A little bit, yeah. Have you locked? Have you uh, locked for any? Look for any hidden meetings and messages in these questions? Pro no. No. Maybe you should have been. Well, there was that uh, uh, talk to me message. Are you wondering if there's a deeper meaning to all this other than just simply answering the questions after questions? Probably no. I'm not really caring about that. Miracles happen every day. Do you agree? No. I don't think miracles happen every day. Umbrellas aren't, aren't worth looking around if you don't mind getting rained on. Do you agree? Well, yeah, I kind of agree. I don't really care about umbrella normally. Red is pretty co pretty uh, color than pink. Yeah, I, I think red has some is a very passionate color. My wife likes to say that a lot too. That red is a passionate color and represents all kinds of things, not just you know negative things. Do you ever feel like a flashing flag blowing in the wind? Yeah. I thought he was about to do a Katy Perry reference in a second. <laughs> you know? Eating in front of people can be awkward. Uh, do you agree? Sometimes. Rings used 
and as a ceremonial wedding gift are so outdated. Do you agree? Yes. I don't even wear a wedding ring now and I'm married, so I don't think my wife does either. Do you realize that the first letter of the last six questions combined spells out the word murder? No. I did not realize that. Do you know why it is? Nope. Does that make you slightly uncomfortable? Not at all. This is a video game. Are you going to start paying closer attention to what you may have gotten yourself into? Not really. <laughs> Do you realize it's too late to turn back now? Yeah. It's me. It's me. <laughs> Do you hear someone in the room? No. Hold on, I need to turn this down, just in case there's, like, certain sounds that are playing. Uh, no, I don't hear anyone in the room. Do you see the shadows closing in? No. Do you feel like you're being watched? No. Do you look around your room a moment ago? Not really. You like long walks on the beach? Yeah, I do. Do you enjoy giving gifts to people? Yes, I love giving gifts to my daughter. Have you ever felt like giving up in life? Totally, all the time. Um, do you love your family more than you love yourself? Yes, I love my wife and daughter. Do you have Do you have a best friend who's clearly better than the rest of your friends? I don't think that. Do you think there's some kind of conspiracy behind the coronavirus? What? <coughs> okay. I wasn't expecting that kind of question. I thought this game was a bit older, but I... Uh, honestly, I don't think there's conspiracy. Do you believe in... Believe that you're human? Oh, yeah. Do you... If you could turn invisible, but you ever, but you could never be visible ever again. Ha again, have you decided to use your power for the first? Once you have used your power the first time, would you ever use it? Yeah, probably. Be invisible forever. I could be naked all the time. People wouldn't know. Uh, if you would, if you knew someone was about to rob a convenience store, but you knew that you were going doing it. They were doing it through the family. Would you stop them? Probably not. If you were st stranded in a remote island with a stranger and you were both starving to death, and you found the secret stash of food that, that that they didn't know about, would you share with them? Yes. You could turn into an eagle for a year, would you, there, but you wouldn't be able to turn back into a person until the, that year ha had passed. Would you do it? Probably not, because I don't want to be an eagle. If you had an opportunity to earn riches beyond your wildest dreams by fighting a grizzly bear to the death, but nothing but a machete and an army helmet, would you do it? Probably! Ride or die, bitch! <laughs> if you had to pick one basic food that uh, food item to eat exclusively for an entire year, would you choose potatoes. Would you choose potatoes? Yes. If pizza screamed in agony every time you bit into pieces, uh, would you still continue eating the pizza? Put it, give me some earbuds and play some music. Let's, uh, let's hear the pizza scream, shall we? If your best friend got bit, bit in the genitals by a highly venomous snake, would you suck it out of their genitals? Would you suck it by a venomous snake, and the only way you'd save their life was to suck it out of their genitals, would you do it to save them? First off, you can't actually do that. That's a myth. You don't actually can't. You can't actually do that. But yes, I would. Was the question difficult to answer? No. Do you feel mortal? Most likely, yes. Do you enjoy loud music? Oh, yeah. Do you feel awkward when you dance in front of others? Yes. Do you suffer from an anxiety disorder? Yes, PTSD. Do you ever feel depressed? All the fucking time. You're not alone. 
Do you feel relaxed? Particularly right now, yeah. Do you think you have a guardian angel watching over you? No. Do you ever feel like your name is being called when no one could have called it? Yeah. I'm going to take special note on that one. Do you always lock, uh, lock back both way, look both ways from across the road? Yes. Do you want to drive it? Do you wash your hands every day? Yeah. Do you feel uncomfortable using public restrooms? Not really. I shit in those things. <coughs> if winter, or, uh, is, your win is winter your favorite season? No. Do you know anyone named Josh? Josh Johnson. Uh, are you wondering why that last question is relevant? No. Are you allergic to uh, any animals? Yes, I'm allergic to the current pets we have and most animal dander. Have you ever thought about an animal in a sexual way? Uh, no. Not sexual in my way, anyway. I'm in love now! Yes, I am artistic in multiple ways. Would you consider yourself to be dominant, uh, dominant in day-to-day -day life? No. Would you feel like you've got too much time on your hands? No. No, I'm not easily intimidated. Are you easily excitable? No. Do you enjoy solving comic problems? Yes. Rubik's cubes were my go-to. Do you have a difficulty time relaxing? No. Would you consider yourself to be high maintenance? No. Do you trust easily? Unfortunately, yes, I do. I, I do trust easily. Would you consider yourself to be an honest person? Yes. Have you ever told a lie? Yes. Have you ever lied to your best friend? Yeah, I'll be honest, I've lied to a few. That's the case. Have you ever lied to your family? Yes. Have you lied any... Have you lied about any answers during this question? No. Are you wondering why all these questions have to do with lying? No. This is all very useful information. Are you a people pleaser? No. I don't care about other people's pleasure. Well, not pleasure, but um... I don't care about pleasing people. That's the phrase. <laughs> Do you enjoy being the center of attention? Even though I'm making a YouTube video about this, I do not. Do you feel like you got a good sense of humor? Yeah. Do you fight easily? No. Nice try. Well, that was odd. I wonder what that was about. <laughs> no fucking shit. You know what that was about. That's probably a pretty good place to stop with the simple segment of our questionnaire and move on to the more gritty questions. The next set of questions will be uh, yes or no. Will not be yes or no questions. The next portion of our session will be filled with various scenarios, but put a smack dab in the middle of the vital choice made. Well, see how you handle the uh, your pick options as you uh, dive deep into each scenario. Remember, the whole key all this is to answer honestly. Let's get started. You're home alone, it's dark, and you're storming outside. All of a sudden, there's a knock on the bedroom door. Someone is in your house. What do you do? Okay, here's this. 
normally if there's a knock on my door, it's probably my daughter. Because it kind of happens all the time. That's what I usually do anyway. I usually boldly open the door. Very interesting choice. You met a homeless woman on the street. She asked you for money. You find it within yourself to give her all the spare change you have. Just as you do, a homeless man approaches you if you have any spare change. What do you do? I'd probably split it between the two, to be honest. Ask, ask the woman to share with the man. Say, ain't more reasonable. Really, no. Both your mother and your father uh, fall incredibly ill. Ill to a life-threatening disease. And there's only one enough medicine in the facilities to save one of your parents at the time of the, of the, of the, uh, of the essence. What do you do? Here's the reality. I have no fucking right. My dad is getting old, and he's going to die anyway. Pretty soon, I'm pretty sure. And I don't give a shit if my mother dies. And so I'm gonna keep the money, the medicine for myself. That doesn't surprise me. You find a case of money tucked. Up. What the hell's going on with my? Hold on a sec here. You find a case of money that is tucked inside a dumpster. Inside of a dumpster. Inside there is a solid gold bar and a vial of mysterious liquid under the vial. The note says, cure for cancer. What would you do? Keep the gold bars, but keep the cure for can but give away the cure for cancer. Honestly, what a wasted opportunity! I don't care about being famous. Okay, I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't judge. You're stuck alone inside your house, and you're st you're starving to death. And I really wish this would stop popping up. If you're stuck home alone in your own house and you're starving to death, you completely run out of food, but no one is coming to save you for weeks. The potential source of food around here is, is your family pets. Would you kill and eat the pets so I can survive? Why am I not surprised? Your neighbor's home is on fire, a blazing inferno among the smoke of the mental windows. You hear screams of help coming within. But you can't see past the flames. No one else is around the site. Would you call the fire department to keep a distance from the home? That's the logical sense. I like that. You're, you're fast asleep in your bed, and you awoke into the sound of a woman muffled cries from somewhere in your room. You quickly realize it's coming from under your bed. What do you do? You look under the bed. Hmm. A man in a fancy suit approaches you while you're uh, walking down the street. He pulls you to pulls a watch from his pocket and hands it to you. He claims that when the watch stops ticking, it marks the moment the time runs out on Earth. What would you do? Take the watch and think. Uh, thank you for. Uh, decline the offer for the watch and keep walking. What'd you know? I'll be honest, this is the best answer out of all of them. Uh, you're sitting at home. Honestly, I just sit and look at the watch and just wait. 
You're sitting at home playing a game on your PC when all of a sudden someone grips and squeezes your shoulders firm like from behind. What would you do? <coughs> Assume it's my wife. Tell him to squeeze harder so you give him a size of a size, I'll be honest. Huh. You're sitting in the bathtub trying to relax. When your hand emerges from the water, what would you do? That bottom one is really stupid, but I'll probably just jump into the water if I can. Clever. Could you get out of the bed? If you, you get out of bed and immediately fall down into a deep dark hole, man is standing above you, lo looking down, telling you that to put the lotion on his skin while he watches you. What do you do? Probably scream for help. Smart choice. I tell him to fuck off, to be honest. But that's not an option on there. Uh, you're sitting at home alone, and all of a sudden your door is slammed shut. You see it before the very eyes, and you know that no one is home. <laughs> you been a ghost of, ghost of the wind, and you do. Run over to the door and open it. Honestly. I like that. Someone uh, you've known for many years but have no attraction to tells you that you ha had a massive crush on you for a long time. What do you do? Well, I'm married. Tell her you're flattered but not interested. Ah, so you're one of those types. The dog started randomly barking to the darkest corner of the living room. There doesn't appear to be anything there but the dog and system escalating, escalating the growls. What do you do? Try to calm your dog down by petting them. I'm taking note on that. You see a massive spider in the room the size of your hand. What do you do? Uh, burn the entire house down. It's the only way to be safe. I grab something bigger and smash it. It's too big to keep it. Ha. The closest family member tells you that you're a serial killer. Tells you that they're a serial killer. What do you do? Try to convince them that they need help. I see. If you found out oh, that you only have one day left to live, what would you do? I'd probably just do that one, my, my third one. Alrighty then. If one of your pets uh, started speaking to you and told you that you they've got a uh, dire warning that you, they were going to die, and you did, oh. If you did, and, and if you didn't let them eat all the ice cream in the freezer, what would you do? Go lay down. I'm obviously too way too high for this. Oh, lovely. If all of a sudden you can start hearing other people's thoughts, uh, and the person next to you was thinking about mugging you and stealing your money, what would you do? It's probably it, get away from them as quickly as possible because that's my PTSD. That sounds reasonable. Your best friend comes to you and tells you that you just accidentally killed someone. They don't know what oh, to go to prison. What would you do? Help them hide the body. I would honestly. Aw, you're driving in your car and you accidentally run over er, over a pretty er, run, 
run someone over, you're pretty sure er, that they're okay, but the fact that their head is clearly detached. Somebody suggests that you're probably just a wishful thinking. What would you do? Turn yourself to the authorities. I can't, you know, not do that. I'm wa wa watching you. Who are I'm waiting? I can't remember what it said. Interesting how that played out. I think it's time for to move on to the next portion of our test. Fine questions shall be asked. Would you rather style questions? Imagine going on a. Uh, you got a gun in your in into your head, and you absolutely must choose the answer. No answer is uncomfortable. No matter how uncomfortable all that may be. Let's get started, shall we? Would you rather be loved or feared by all? I think loved is better. Rather or get angry or never get jealous. Never get angry? I say never get angry. I never get jealous anyway. Anger and jealousy are kind of two and two, though. <coughs> Hold on, I got a message. Hi from my wife. Would you rather be held in high regards of your parents or by your friends? Uh, my friends, I don't give a shit about my parents. Would you rather live in space or live under the sea? Under the sea. Under the sea. I, I don't really give a shit. I think space. Because it's more like less, more likely to be empty. Would you rather donate your body to science or donate your organs to someone who needs them? I could do both. I would. If, would you rather go to jail for five years for something you didn't do, or get away with something horrible you did but always live in the fear of being caught? I'll live in fear of being caught. Would you rather work at a horrible job that you hate but retire comfortably in ten years from now on from now on, from now? Uh would you or would you rather have your dream job but you have to work for until the day you die? Probably retire in ten years. If I'm working up to never working again, why not? Would you rather or very Every shirt you'll ever wear to be somewhat itchy, or only be able to use one ply toilet paper. I can work with one ply toilet paper. Would you rather have skin that changes color depending on the mood, or have tattoos that appear in your body depicting what you did yesterday? I would love the idea of appearing tattoos. That sounds kind of cool. Would you rather shit everything in, sh uh, shit every time you orgasm, or orgasm every time you you see a dog? <laughs> I like the answers. <laughs> Shit every time you orgasm. I'd rather orgasm every time I see a dog. If your partner itched switch bodies with you, your parents, and the only way to get them <laughs> to switch them back is to have sex with one of them, would you have sex with your partner or and your parents' body, or have sex with your parent and your partner's body? I like the question. The answer to the question: What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Just answer the question. I think partner's body is the better answer. That one had no bearing to the results. I was just curious. I think you've answered enough of these types of questions, as I assure you to agree. We're going to end this test with short serial final questions, giving simple answers. Let's get started now. Are we ever going to stop? I think 46 because it's a big number. Out of the following options, the color resonates with you at the exact moment. I think green right now. No. Mm. 
blue. Out of the following options, which creature are you the least comfortable around? Scorpions. I've been stung twice by them. Out of all the following questions, which uh, flavor is your of the following options? Which is your favorite flavor? Mint. Out of the following options, which do you personally value the most? Freedom. Out of the following options, would you would you most live without? Money. I'm brave, I'm caring, I'm smart. I think smart is the more accurate one. Out of the following options, which are you most afraid of? Losing my loved ones. We're almost finished, but I've got one final question for you. Have you ever punched a nun? No. You really get out of try <laughs> sometime. It could be really take off the take the edge off. I don't feel like the developer actually has punched a nun. Right, we're done here. They asked that nun question in the last game. <laughs> I'm through with you. I'm going to calculate results carefully. Uh, I don't want to miss anything important. Trying to absolutely hard is not to judge you right now. I'm just trying to be professional as possible. Ah, here we go. Based on what you told me, you have come to the conclusion that you're, this is why personally the best is interested in knowledge, set in motion, accomplished in order to climb and better to have this life. First, and foremost, I'd like you to start with a blank statement that everyone truly needs to hear. Something that is taken for granted far more than anything else in life. Something that is such an incredible, unique, and replaceable value compared to any other thing in the world, on Earth. And that, my friends, is the value of time. Time is the most valuable form of currency you'll ever hold in life. You can spend time on anyone, doing anything for any reason. Now, time can be spent, time can be wasted, and time can be taken away. But time can never be refunded. Time can never be earned back. The more time you ever, the more time you can ever, more time can never be gained. Imagine a bank amount. Uh, and with all the money you've ever had to spend in your life, and now imagine not knowing how much money is in your account. <clears throat> imagine going to the store one day to purchase something you really needed. The cashier tells you, I'm sorry, but you cannot afford that. As a matter of fact, you can never afford anything ever again. We can only have so much time and ever, and we have no idea how much, how much, or how little we truly ha have before our bank account runs dry. The fact that we get to decide to choose whether we spend our time on just shows you how t really special it is for someone to spend their time on you. You know, there's an entire movie on that. Where time was a currency, you know, it was on their hand and shit. Uh, I can't remember the movie. So, uh, I understand how a credible value of time. I'd like you to take, make a suggestion for your, uh, for you personally on how I think you'd uh, best spend your time in order to achieve what you need the most at this current stage of your particular life. Let's see here. Okay, well for starters, you're not what I'd call most normal of individuals. Uh, that is a damn, and that is a damn good thing. You see, you're a survivor. You're the type of person when you, when push comes to shove, you absolutely thrive and survive in a zombie apocalypse. Not only that, but you would you'd be everyone's best friend. Not because they want you to be their friend necessarily, but because they they'd have, but because they'd ha have to be. 
you have to uh, absolute ridiculous amount of value to bring to other people's lives. But the man inside, the main issue in here is we're not in a zombie apocalypse. We live fairly normal, mundane lives, and especially as you could be the going, uh, if the going got rough. The true potential doesn't ha have much opportunity to shine in the day-to-day -day life. So how do you, how do we fix this? I'm glad you asked. For starters, you need to start seeking for thrilling adventures in life. Not, not ever te let fear stop you from pressuring epic adventures because epic adventures is where you're going to thrive 10 out of 10 times, where many others will stop, falter. <coughs> My advice to you is to start investing more of your time seeking out different experiences that you've never been involved with before. If something makes you uncomfortable, don't do not shy away from it. Instead, jump right into it and head for, first and say yes. If you can master the art of being comfortable with being uncomfortable, an entirely new world of opportunity is going to open up for you, and you're going to be living life to full potential while everyone else gets stuck in the mud. Once you figure this part out, you're going to be a hell of a lot happier in life, and I think you already feel the, feel the truth. Feel the truth in that. I think you'll be very surprised at how much of your positive impact can ha have on your life going forward. I hope this information helps you achieve your goals. The secret word is survivor. I'm going to put that in. Test two. Put survive. Survivor. This will come in, come in handy. Take that secret word as assigned to you at the end of your session and leave it in the comments for us. We'll be setting something that based on your answers to conclude in the future project you're entirely working on. If you do not wish to be part of this upcoming project, simply leave your secret word out of the comments and we'll be selected for the next selected unit. We'll appreciate all of your comments and leave you It'll always be ready for your time to answer the questions. All right, one more thing. We appreciate your feedback and support. Please read the, every single review left for us. We love the conspiracy theories behind the greater meaning of all this. And the third and final installment of the series, all of this will finally be revealed. But not a single person ha has been able to figure out what the entire experiment is all about yet. We look forward to reading your thoughts and feelings and as we help shape what we do as we work on the future projects to bring the most uh, emotion out of you. From the bottom of our hearts, uh, th thank you and everything you do. Thank you for playing and thank you for the contributing to our secret word or to our projects. If you wish to support us further, would you love for you to check out, out other titles of our other game sections of the screen title. A after playing the test of Final Revelation, the third game of the test trilogy, trilogy we'll also be testing, uh, also have the testing chamber which is connected to the test trilogy in every special and unique way. In, in the meantime, the advice Iser is another interesting experience that we recommend, and and the emphasis of the player developing interactions where the other player gets to vote on how this story will be written in future episodes. Your opinions and decisions have a direct impact on the developing process of the storyline, and the advisor series will love to read your ideas, thoughts, and considerations. Again, thank you very much for supporting us in a journey we truly cannot show you in gratitude and appreciate enough for all you do for us, and we hope the rest of your day is filled with all the joy and happiness that you deserve. Uh, Random Studio. Random Studios. There we go.
That's a test tube for you guys. Mm. Oh yeah, I'd love to see the list of names. Markiplier! Right, I didn't expect that. There's more! More names! I'm just gonna speed through. So many names. There's so many names. I can't read them all. I'm going to have me, uh, There's so many names, so many credits. So many names. I'm just gonna keep letting them appear on the screen. President Barack Obama was on that list? One of those names said Death Claw Cock. Long list. Oh, God. God, that took forever. When we got to the end of the list. Anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And whatever that is. Um, we'll be playing the third game soon. As, as soon as I can. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. And stay tuned for the next. Anyway guys, I'll stay dirty my friends. Bye bye.